Hi, I am Dr. K. Sai Prasad Reddy. Welcome to the subject, Software Engineering. In this session, I am going to cover the topic, Industry Overview, that is Software Industry Overview. See, which is your future workplace? See, as a software engineer, which is your future workplace? See, the soft, in the software industry, all the software companies with respect to their business model are not the same. All the software companies are not the same with respect to their business model. The software companies are divided into three types. One is software product companies, IT services companies, enterprise IT captives. The software companies are divided into three categories. One is product based companies, services based companies and enterprise IT captives. So if you want to become a software engineer, if you want to work in as a software engineer, you have to work any one of these companies, any one of these types of companies. You may work in a product based companies, you may work in services based companies or you may work in the enterprise IT captives. So what are these? Just we will discuss each and every type of the software company. The first is product based company. See, examples for the product based companies are SAP Labs or Oracle or Microsoft or Google etc. Just to have a list of a few here. All these companies are called product based companies. What do you mean with the product based companies? See, the companies which will design and develop the generic products is called product based company. The company which will design and develop the generic products or cards, because generic product is also called as cards or packaged apps, these companies are called product based companies. So, how they will make money? See, how these product based companies will make money? Product based companies will make money or will earn the money or will generate the revenue by selling the licenses to the end users. By selling the licenses to the end users, these product based companies are making money or earning money. Okay? So, and the business model, the product based company's business model is a non-linear business model. What it mean? So, how much that product based companies are getting revenue, how much that product based companies are making money, how much that product based companies are creating revenue, generating revenue will depend upon the number of licenses that they have sold in a particular period of time. So, for example, in a particular month, they might have sold three th example, only example, purely example. So, they might have sold 3,000 licenses of 3,000 licenses. And the next month, they might have sold uh, 10,000 licenses or 20,000 licenses or 2,000 licenses. So, the earning of that particular uh, money by the product based companies will B will depend upon the number of licenses that they have sold to the end users. Probably, whenever these product based companies sell, so sells this more number of licenses, they will get the more revenue. If the number of licenses that they have sold in a particular period of time is less, obviously the income or the revenue or earning money will be less. So that means there is no fixed revenue for these companies. So this revenue which is which are which is generated by this product based companies is a non-linear because there is no fixed revenue it is a non-linear so that's why the business model of this product based companies are called non-linear business models and second is services based companies example for the services based companies like csc or tcs or wipro technologies or infosys or Cap Gemini, Accenture, etc., etc. There are so many, so many, so many thousands of services based companies are existing. Right? Just I have listed only few for your understanding. 
So, which companies are called services based companies? All these companies are called services based companies. Why these companies are called services based companies? Because these companies are providing services to the clients. These companies are providing services to the customers. That is why these companies are called services based companies. See? Services based companies Why these companies are called services based companies? Because these companies, companies, companies provide, provide services to the clients. Here, what kind of services? What kind of services they will provide? So, they will provide the services They will provide the services like designing of the project, development of the project, testing the project, Deployment of the project and maintenance of the like all these these are all the services. The services based companies will provide services to the clients. Here the client client is also called as customer, he is also called as user is also called as client is also called as a customer is also called as user is also called as business so you can use any name generally predominantly in software companies they will use the word client or a customer but here many people will get uh, 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 confusion user is different and the end user is different so user client is called as a user client is also called as a customer client is also called as a business but here the user is a different and the end users are different right so the services based companies are the companies which will provide the services to the clients which will provide the services to the customers which will provide services to the business what kind of services they will provide? They will design the project to the clients. They will develop the project to the clients. They will test the project for the sake of the clients. They will deploy the projects in the client places and they will maintain the projects. All these services are provided. That is why these companies are called services based companies. And these services based companies will design and develop the custom softwares. What do you mean by the custom software? Custom software is a software which is designed and developed for the purpose of a single customer or the client according to the customer requirement. And as these companies are providing services to the clients, they will charge for these services. Fixed amount. They will charge the fixed amount. So here the business model of the services based companies is a linear business model. For example, say if ABC is a company, here ABC is a software company, is a company and C, XYZ is a client. This ABC company will provide services to the client XYZ. As this company is providing the services to the client, this company will charge some fixed amount, some fixed amount. There will be no any uh, non-linearity, there will be no any non-linearity in earning. So fixed amount will be charged, for example, say, say for example 100 crores. So that is a fixed amount. Here, for each and every project, the services based companies will charge a fixed amount to the clients. So, that's why that business model is a 
linear business model right so these type of companies are called services based companies just i will i will, I will give you the important points of about the services based companies so services based companies example is a tcs or wipro or csc or capgemini accenture etc 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 so there are some thousands of services based companies are there just for your better understanding just i have listed only the few companies names here so services based companies are the companies which will provide the services to the clients that is why these companies are called services based companies so these services based companies will design and develop the custom software according to the client requirement as these are providing the services to the clients so they will charge for the fixed amount of money they will charge to the clients so here the business model is linear business model because there will be no any fluctuations there will be no any variations in the revenue generation that's why the business model of the services based companies are the linear business model right yeah the next is enterprise it captives the third type of the company is enterprise it captives this enterprise it captives are also called as entrepreneur it captives so example for this enterprise it captives are wells fargo hsbc bank of america novartis etc 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 so what it mean enterprise it captives are the companies which will design and develop the softwares for their own purpose for their for their business purpose only that means they will design and develop their own projects for their for their own business purpose they will neither sell the licenses to the end users nor provide services to the clients so just for their sake of business for their own purpose they will design and develop the softwares so that's why these companies are called enterprise it captives as they are as they are designing and developing the software for their own purpose they are not doing any business they are work, they are using their softwares for their own business so there is no particular business model for the enterprise it captives so here each and every enterprise it captives will have in house it teams what do you mean by the in house it teams so in house it teams in house it teams mean they will be having their own development teams so their resources their software resources will design and develop their own projects so that's why these these companies will have in house it teams so each and every enterprise it captives will have their own it teams their own infrastructure for designing and developing the software right so these type of companies are called enterprise it captives examples again the examples of few examples of the enterprise it captives is hsbc because they are doing the business in the financial sector novartis wells fargo and the bank of america right thank you